Uh, hello there, and uh, welcome to the second part of uh, login screen UR, uh, UX design. So in the first part, uh, we have designed the first and uh, part of the second uh, screen. So there it is. Uh, so there are a few things we need to add more. So we need to create a UX design for those buttons down below. So we're going to start by adding a simple tap trigger for our login button. Okay. And uh, on the left side of uh, where we have our layers tab, we're going to find this uh, login button background. We're going to click right click, add, and we're going to add a rectangle. So uh, this rectangle uh, will be pretty much the same size as our uh, original uh, uh, button background. So we're going to increase the radius and we're going to change uh, color to uh, match the, the green color. Okay. And uh, now we are going to rename this to, uh, let's say, login uh, BG, which, which stands for a uh, background. And we're going to remove the old one. So basically, uh, now we can uh, adjust our uh, login background uh, as we wish. So we're going to add a color opacity here, a color um, response. But first, let's convert this text, uh, this uh, layer to text. Okay. And now uh, we can actually add a uh, color response in our tap trigger uh, so basically we're going to add two uh, color responses one for login text and the uh, the other for uh, login background so the text we are going to change the text from white to green uh, duration will set to 0.1 second and let's uh, now add a white color for our login background uh, duration to 0.1 as well and when we click this button we will get uh, this effect so uh, we're going to add uh, two more uh, color responses and, uh, and we are going to get a beautiful uh, uh, animation you'll see so now uh, for those last two uh, color responses we are going to set delay to uh, 0 0.1 and duration of course uh, 0 0.1 and uh, we're going to switch back uh, those colors from uh, before okay 100% fill color, delay one, uh, 0 0.1 and now when we click this button you see so this is the effect which we just created. Pretty amazing what, uh, what you can do with those uh, little steps you know. Okay so um, the next thing uh, we are going to animate those three buttons on the bottom so I have a group uh, inside uh, one container those three buttons and we're going to copy its uh, Y position and uh, move them on the on the bottom so on the start trigger we are going to add the move response and we are going to basically uh, move those uh, buttons from the bottom to top uh, so the ratio will be 0.6 and uh, there it is this is how our uh, second screen looks like so uh, <coughs> okay so uh, we need to add uh, here a uh, few things more for example, we need to add a jump uh, to jump to other scene, but before that we need to create an, uh, the third screen. So uh, here we're going to import a new screen. So select, uh, I'm going to select profile screen for our from our Adobe XD project and uh, then I'm going to rename this to profile. Okay. And now I'm going to add the jump so we can jump from the second to the third screen like that. Delay will be maybe 0 0.2 uh, seconds. And remember to check this uh, option down below, which says uh, reset the selected scene, because it basically means that uh, whenever you get back to your uh, second screen, the animation will reset. Okay. And uh, be sure to check that. Uh, next, we're going to get uh, to the third scene. And we're going to copy the, we're going to add first uh, start trigger. Okay, and now we're going to copy this uh, photo, circle photo uh, Y position. And we're going to move this uh, uh, circle photo from the top to the bottom, you'll see now. So let's move this uh, on the top like that. Okay, and uh, we're going to set uh, 
duration to 0 0.6 maybe we'll see so first um, add the opacity to zero for those two texts and we are going to add uh, two opacity responses so we can actually increase opacity of those two texts to 100 percent uh, duration will be set to 0 0.6 for now 0 0.6 as well okay we need to increase opacity to 100 for our second uh, marcus which is a username text okay and uh, we can play uh, with those uh, animations here a little bit so uh, let me add the delay here to 0 0.6 or maybe 1.2 seconds uh, we'll see now okay set that to 1.2 seconds and on the first opacity response we're going to add the delay to 0 0.6 okay and now our animation looks uh, even better okay so now that, now that we have uh, created that uh, we're going to um, create animations for those uh, menu items down below like my profile portfolio classes help feedback and logout so we're going to move all, the, all those uh, menu items on the left side and we're going to copy its uh, original x uh, position so we can move them uh, in the our animation like that uh, first uh, for the first menu item uh, we'll set duration to 0 0.6 for the second uh, we're going to for, for the second item uh, we're going to set duration to 0 0.7 for the third 0 0.8 uh, and so on and it will uh, get uh, and we will get a smooth effect you will see so move this item on the left and uh, let's uh, copy its uh, x position so we can actually move that so we add the move response here paste the original x position add the increased duration to 0 0.8 this time okay and move this on the left okay now the next is uh, help so copy its uh, x position okay let's add a move response here and paste the original x position increase duration to 0 0.9 this time okay and uh, for the feedback again copy uh, uh, okay so we need to copy the original x position here first then move on the left side and uh, add the uh, move response here paste x position uh, increase duration to zero uh, to one second this time okay and this is the animation uh, this is how it should look like and the final animation is for our log logout button so this time we're going to copy y uh, position because this uh, element will come from the bottom okay duration to maybe 0 0.2 seconds uh, you can play with those uh, values by yourself to see which one fits you the best okay let's uh, i will decrease it to uh, 0 0.1 second okay i think uh, i think it's good now so uh, there is one more thing uh, or function i want to show you here uh, so basically we're going to create uh, one more variable you will see now but we can add first uh, here a uh, tap trigger on our logout uh, text so uh, we can add a jump response and we can jump back to our uh, login uh, screen so transition can be slide in from bottom to top and of course uh, remember to check this box reset the selected scene it's very important to do that okay and uh, now uh, i'm going to switch back to uh, to a second uh, scene which is a login screen okay and now we're going to create one more variable but this time a variable uh, for all screen uh, for all scenes so we're going to rename this to a username and we're going to set the default value to uh, just a simple text username so basically what we are going to do now uh, we're going to grab uh, text from our username input field and we're going to pass that into our third scene so when you tap trigger for our login button uh, we're going to add the uh, assign uh, response and we're going to put that on the top like that and uh, we're going to select username variable so click this formula and uh, click this plus button so we can find our uh, username input select that 
and uh, from the drop down menu uh, we will choose uh, text so scroll down until you find it okay and click ok and that's it so basically now when we tap uh, when we click on our login uh, button we're going to grab uh, all the text from our username input and we're going to pass that uh, now into our third scene so here we're going to add a text uh, response in our start trigger uh, so we're going to select a text layer, but we don't see that here. It's because we need to uh, convert our Marcus text into an actual text. So go on the left side of the panel, right click and uh, convert to text. Okay, and now when we click our text uh, response, we can see that. So before that, I'm going to increase the width of our text here and we're going to center and uh, set it on the center of the screen like that. And now uh, select a text response and select Marcus text. And here in the content, uh, we're going to select a formula and uh, okay, select formula and basically just uh, type your uh, uh, name of your variable, which is actually a username. Okay. And uh, now click OK. So we are going to now test this uh, function of ours so let's get back to our uh, second login scene so we can check out how it works okay and uh, now here in the username input we're going to type uh, i'm going to type my uh, youtube channel name okay so i need to fix uh, one more thing inside our password input field i'm going to um, i'm going to uh, use another uh, type of input uh, text password this time so when you type uh, password here it will show you those dots instead so now let's uh, okay and let's click login so now in the third screen you will see this uh, same username which we already typed uh, in the previous scene so uh, uh, so uh, that's pretty amazing right uh, there is only one more thing to uh, add our username animation didn't start well so that's the reason um, because uh, we need to decrease the uh, initial value of our Marcus text to zero opacity to zero and now let's try it again I'm going to type my uh, name of my YouTube channel some random password click login and there we go so our, our function uh, works pretty well now okay So now let's check our uh, UX design from the beginning. Uh, that's pretty much uh, fine. The animation uh, works just as we wanted. And uh, now I'm going to show you how you can share your uh, UX design with your friends, family and uh, your client. So you just click uh, upload button in the top right corner and you can share the link with uh, any of your friends. So let me show you how that works. You just paste that uh, link in, the, your, in your browser and you will get your um, application here. So basically uh, anyone who access your link uh, can uh, engage with, uh, which, uh, with uh, your design. So for example, I can type the username here, password, I can click button and uh, do anything uh, I can okay and uh, it's pretty much useful when you want to uh, create a UX design for your client you can just simply send um, your client this link and he can uh, see and uh, engage with this uh, UX design with uh, ease so uh, that was it for uh, this uh, UX design tutorial uh, thank you for watching guys, uh, please like this video if you find it helpful of course, and uh, see you in the next video.